Let's install our X-Microwave Ground Signal Ground Jumper. First, we've got a PLL VCO circuit built on our prototyping plate. And what we need to do is connect signals as well as the surrounding grounds across two X-Microwave blocks using the Ground Signal Ground Jumper. Now it's pretty impressive. It's built into a piece of flex circuit that has diamond particles and then is gold plated. This is called Diamond Particle Interconnect. We're going to flip it over, gold side down, and place it across our two X microwave blocks. Now we need to center this across the traces and across the 5 mil air gap between the boards. Once it's placed, we're going to need to inspect it. You can use a microscope, a magnifying glass, or I typically like to use my smartphone camera, zoomed in, and macro mode. This allows me to see that I've properly aligned everything. Now it's time to place the anchor. The anchor ensures that you have a solid connection between the circuit board and the jumper. Now I like to preload my anchor with quarter inch screws and then rocking it from back to forward, place it down on my jumper for minimal movement. Then once I put my Allen wrench into my screws, I'll reverse it for about a quarter rotation until it clicks. This ensures that my threads are properly seated, and then I'll tighten it down almost to finger tight, leaving just a little space so that I can move my jumper around if it moved a little bit. Once I'm finished, I can tighten it down to finger tight and then inspect it with my iPhone camera. Now I'm going to place the second anchor. When I place the second anchor, I have a little bit more flexibility because I know that jumper is not moving. I back off my screws, let the thread seat and then I'll tighten down to finger tight. Once I've inspected everything one more time, I'm going to use my Allen wrench to tighten just a quarter turn past finger tight, but not too tight. We don't want to damage the board or the anchors. To learn more, visit xmicrowave.com.